and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a planner setup video for the new school year. So as you can see, I have a trusted time and true <laughs> happy planner here that I have used for years. You can tell by the cover, it's kind of like peeling, but I love this cover. I'm just gonna use it until it just wears out. But I was gifted these two planners by Schoolgirl Style. They're undated. So I decided to try to use them because I'm going into a new position where I'm not really a um, dedicated classroom teacher. I'm going to be doing interventions for kindergarten through fifth grade. So I probably won't need as much as what I'm used to using as far as for planning. So I thought this would be a great way to use the planners and get them all set up. But y'all know, I'm a happy planner girl to my heart. So I need it to work like happy planner. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We are going to actually convert this spiral schoolgirl planner into a happy planner because that's gonna make me happy. So um, I've been doing a little research to try to see how I can do this and how I can figure this all out. So I know the first thing that I have to do is remove the coils. So, but let me give you a little quick flip through of these two planners um, because I was trying to decide which one I was actually going to use. So well, this one is by Schoolgirl Style and oh, this one is actually by a different company. So they pretty much are the same when you open it up. It has the cover page and it has some other pages that you, you know, would use um, in the classroom. And I love the communication log. I love this little notes page. Now the biggest issue that I have that I'm gonna have to see how I can work with it is that all of the months are up front so I'm used to a month and then a week a month and then a week well here it's all the months and it comes with these tabs uh, it comes with tabs for you to actually label yourself so we'll see that as well but so as you can see it starts in July which is good for me because I do start back to school with some trainings in July and so it's all of the months are up front like all of them so then you get into the weeks. So, so you go from June and then you get into your weeks. So that's gonna be the biggest learning curve for me. And this planner is set up the same way. Um, it's pretty much the same, the communication log, a notes page, a year at a glance, and then it goes through all the months. And then it goes to the weeks. So, and that's how pretty much how it's laid out. So I was like, okay, this is gonna definitely be a learning curve for me. So if you've never seen a planner like this before, and they're relatively inexpensive, I think they're less than $15. So it does have the name checklist. This one also has the checklist, which I definitely use. And then at the back, it has the sticker page for you to put your monthly tabs and you're good to go. And the same thing with this one, same thing. But you get a little bit more stickers with this one. So the one I'm going to be using is this one. Um, I just think it's, you know, a little bit more my style. So what I'll have to do first is kind of like deconstruct it and take all the coils take the coils out and everything. So I won't have you guys sit here and watch me do that part, but I'm just gonna snip off all of these rings. I'm actually gonna go and get my wire, um, my wire ones. I have some wire ones and then I can just clip that off real quick. All right, so I got my wire ones. So I'm just gonna aren't working as there it goes as well as I thought but I just got to get it done as you can 
and get it in there good. I can pull them off. All right, so I got it all disassembled. So the best way I thought about doing this was to use my Happy Planner Punch, use some washi to kind of cover up the, and I don't need the cover, so it doesn't matter, I can just trash that. But to cover up these punches, because if, and I'll just show you what it would, what it would look like if I went ahead and lined it up and punched it like this it would be like all of these little holes and I'm not quite sure I mean it would work technically it would work it would but I want it to look very smooth and nice so I said well you know what I have all this washi that I have not used and I can just play around with my washi and go ahead and get it all done so I was like the cool thing about it is that I have all these different types of washies and I'm sure I have something that will kind of match up with what I have um, with what is already on the sides if not I can just pick one I thought about just getting um, one that was um, all solid color just going to Hobby Lobby and whatever but I was like I'm just gonna use what I have on hand so what you want to do is line it up and as you can see I went over it um, over where the beginning part is and I'm gonna tell y'all why in just a moment and I'm just gonna go all the way down to the end. This is definitely gonna take a while <laughs> to do, so pass your patience if this is something that you are interested in doing. And then I'm gonna flip it over, which is why I left it like that, and then I'm gonna go all the way up. So I'm, I flipped it over, and then now I'm gonna go all the way up. And like so, like I said, it's definitely gonna take some time. Then, all right, once you get to the end, I mean, if you have an X-Acto knife, you can just cut it off. Or if you have a straight edge and you wanna use your straight edge, like either one, I think is, you know, kind of fine, whichever one you, you know, decide to do. But I'm just gonna put it right here and use that. Now, you'll see the difference in the punch. Just line it up here. And now, that definitely 
that looks better, that looks like a happy planner page. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my different um, washies to go ahead and um, get these pages done. Now, like I said, it's a lot of different washi, so I have this polka dot one, so I'm probably gonna put this polka dot one on here just so it kind of like looks almost the same. So I'll probably be using like different ones, which is, you know, pretty fine with me uh, to be using, you know, some of the different ones that I have. Um, and I might even use some of this teacher ones that I haven't used. Um, those are pretty brand new and we'll just go from there. So keep watching. All right, so I am almost done with the months part, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly what uh, or how it's looking um, so far. So I got this one, y'all saw me punch that one. And then I put the skinny, If I don't know if you can tell, but I used this skinnier one and I actually kind of like the way it looks. I, I think that works out really well. I haven't punched the pages yet, but I wanted y'all to kind of see how it's looking so far. So I did do a different kind of skinny one on the year at a glance. But then I was trying to get some of that bigger tape done and I just was only able to do it for July. But a quick tip though, because I didn't like how it was kind of cutting off the word important right there. So I started with, oops, didn't push that down good. Let me make sure it's down really good. So I started with all of the months, the regular months with this type of washi. And I think it looks good. It's a good contrast for everything. But I started to run out. So I want you to kind of see, because this is how your planner would look. So you gotta definitely put some thought into this if you're gonna attempt to do something like this. So I got, uh, I think it's when I got to March uh, is when I kind of ran out of this one. <laughs> yeah. So what I did was I made sure that I stopped it here so that when you look at the pages, at least it will look, it will look the same. So that's how kind of how I did that. And so um, I'm going to be doing the same thing as I transition over into the week part. Definitely double check as you have done, as you are sticking that washi tape down I do have this Cricut tool here that's like a little smoother outer so um, if you don't have one of these things you can always use like a credit card just to make sure that washi tape is down really really good I didn't press too hard in case I needed to pull it back up so um, but once you're done that's probably one thing that you can definitely do so this will be as you can see this will be the end of june and then i'll have just this one side so i'm hoping that i actually have enough of this 